it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Uh, today we're planting our dahlias and we have laid them out on this new bed that we prepared earlier. It's a no-dig bed and I have laid them out. Uh, they're spaced about 35 to 40 centimeters apart and um, I've done three rows and as you can see and um, we're just going to plant them today. I have arranged my dahlias in um, in some sort of order. So I have arranged down this end, these are all my dinner plate dahlias with the really large sort of 20 to 25 centimeter flower heads. And then the middle patch uh, over there, this middle patch are my taller dahlias. So anything that grows to sort of over a meter tall. And then right down at the far end over there are the shorter dahlias. Um, nothing too short because anything sort of 80 centimeters and below, I plant in pots, but anywhere in between that, they are down at the far end over there. And I've sort of tried to arrange them, um, you know, from shades of dark to light. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a really good display and I'll be able to show you later on in the season what it looks like and talk you through the different varieties that I've got so that it gives you some ideas about dahlias that you might like to have in your garden. And I'll show you how big they grow and what they look like and whether I think they're sturdy. Um, you'll see we don't have any stakes up yet. Um, we will plant the dahlias first and then stake them afterwards and I'll show you how I'm doing that also. So I also want to mention how I started my dahlias off. I took them out of storage um, at least a month ago, probably more than that, maybe about six weeks ago, and I went through them all and divided where I needed to and then potted them up. And I do have a video showing you how I did that, so do take a look at that if you're interested. Um, and I have been growing these on in pots um, ever since then, and I haven't pinched mine yet, but I will be doing that. So if you pinch your dahlias, you're going to get many more blooms. And also, if you do want to pick them for flower arranging, you'll find they have much more usable stems. If you don't pinch your dahlias, they're gonna end up with really chunky stems that are quite hard to use in flower arranging. Um, so there are two good reasons to pinch your dahlias. Um, you're probably also wondering how I protect them from slugs and snails. I do use nematodes against the slugs earlier on in the season. Uh, there aren't really any nematodes for snails. And the other reason that I plant them on, put them on into pots in the beginning when I take them out of storage um, is so that I can protect them from the slugs and snails because we put the pots in crates and sort of grow them indoors and then bring them out and harden them off that way. Um, so that also protects the younger shoots from the slugs and snails. And I think if we did leave them in the ground, which we can't really hear because our soil is very heavy, although we may try in this bed, we'll see how it goes, um, make that decision later in the season. But uh, yeah, so once our plants are big enough, um, they go in the ground now, which is the middle of May, and um, they're kind of more robust. They're less likely to get gobbled up by the slugs and snails because uh, they're bigger and it's really the tender young shoots that the slugs and snails go for. So I have counted this bed and we've got 117 dahlias to plant in this long stretch here. I do have probably about 20 or so dahlias that I'm going to plant in pots. They are the shorter dahlias and ones that I like the look of in pots. And I've got about maybe 10 dahlias that I'm going to plant in another bed um, out at the front of the house in our front garden. Uh, we call it the tulip bed, but actually it's just a bed that's up against a wall that we change through the seasons. And we tend to start off with tulips in that bed and then finish the season with dahlias and cosmos. Um, so that's what I'm going to plant out at the front. Uh, let's get on with the planting job.
summer dahlias have been planted in this bed here. It looks fantastic. Well, I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> I love the straight rows. It's making me very happy. Um, I'm just hoping that we can keep the weeds at bay and also um, stop the snails and slugs attacking my dahlias, but we'll see. So what we did with these dahlias is we planted them into this no-dig bed, which I have another video about, um, I think I mentioned earlier, and then we've sprinkled fish blood and bone around the base of each plant because dahlias really like a good feed and we've watered them in. And then to keep that moisture in and hopefully suppress some more weeds, we have um, spread some farmyard manure over the top. It's composted farmyard manure. And then uh, next weekend, what we'll do is we will stake the area in preparation for the plants growing. What I've also done is I've planted up eight tulip pots um, with a dahlia into each one, and those will go on the patio. And I've, we've also planted about seven or eight dahlias in the front flower bed in the front garden. Um, and yeah, so that's all our dahlias planted now. I think I've got maybe three sitting around that are gonna go in particular flower beds, um, and they were just kind of extras, but. Uh, yeah, that's all our dahlias. Anyway, what I will do um, as soon as they start blooming is I'll, I'll start recording some videos to show you what each plant looks like and what the flowers are like so that, you know, if you fancy any of them, then you could start hunting them down and getting ready for next year. So I really hope that this video has been interesting and useful and, you know, maybe fun to watch Richard work so hard. <laughs> It didn't take him that long actually because the bed was prepared so recently that it was really lovely soil to plant into but um, yeah if you've enjoyed this video then do subscribe to my channel and follow along to see what the dahlias look like um, in this uh, you know later on in the season when I film some more videos about them um, anyway I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time it's just better to pinch if you pinch also you're going to get a lot more blooms a lot more blooms Many more blooms. <laughs> so, all our 17 dahlias, ha oh, um, and I'll show that in this video too. I've, uh, um, you know, composted farmyard, uh, composted farmyard manure. It's, it's, it's not hot anymore. It's just composted. Uh, why, why, why can't I say anything like a normal person?